friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Abby and today I am back for a little grocery haul and cupboard and fridge clean out. Um, my fridge and freezer are pretty bad. They need cleaned out. My cupboards, same thing. We just need to reorganize. I am going to go to the grocery store, but first I want to clean out the cupboards and the fridge so that when I come home I can easily just put things away instead of yeah, I just want to do that first before I go get all the groceries. And I'm actually going to go grocery shopping today instead of doing a Walmart pickup. I'm going to go to Aldi first, get as much as I can there, and then go to Walmart. And that'll probably be it. I don't think I'll need to stop at Giant Eagle, but that's the plan. So let me show you the before and after of my cupboards and my fridge. All right, so this is just like random stuff like canned goods and stuff I use when I'm cooking like breadcrumbs and pastas and things like that and then here is my snack cupboard and now let's go over to the fridge here it is all this stuff is just really just disorganized and I need to do a better job organizing all of it and here is my freezer um yeah same situation over here just need to kind of go through things get rid of stuff and make some room for more food um my baking cabinet really needs to be cleaned out too but i don't think i'll get to that today i highly doubt it um so we are going to get these cupboards ready for food and yeah so let's get started guys I wish I could have done that as fast as the video you just watched but sadly it took me probably like 45 minutes so I guess it's not too bad um so let me show you what the cupboards look like now all right here's this one I didn't organize it like super great but I put stuff like I rarely use up top and then pastas and breadcrumbs there and then just the canned stuff or stuff I use frequently right there and then over here we have this cupboard. Um, I'll probably have to reorganize it a little bit once I get groceries, but that's how everything looks right now. Okay, and here is the fridge. I would say the fridge and the freezer has probably the most significant change because they were both pretty bad. Um, doo -doo -doo. I just put the jellies and salsa down here because I don't use them very often. I've been drinking a little bit of Mountain Dew or Sprite Zero in the afternoons to help curb like some snacky cravings I've been having. It's been working. I drink like one bottle over two or three days so it's not that much but it's just enough to get me through that last part of work um yeah so that's what i've been doing a little just a little bit of milk here and then these are just some condiments that i use frequently and then up here I just have like butter and garlic that i use sometimes when i'm cooking we have my energy drink uh some cheeses and cottage cheese lunch meat and these little p3 packs yogurt fruit eggs an empty shelf this is nursery water so one of my daycare girls she transitioned from formula to regular milk so we just had extra nursery water so her parents are just like just keep it here and she can drink it like as her drink until it's gone and then she can just use water 
from the fridge. Um, and then I have some steaks thawing for dinners. Nothing in here, but I'll probably put bread in here so I get some at the store. And then I have all these random drinks that I don't really drink, but um, one of my daycare moms, her daughter didn't like these juice boxes, so she gave them to me. But um, I don't really like them either, but I should just like actually... Uh, some of these are expired, so I'm going to have to go through them again and probably get rid of them, unfortunately. I should have given them to the kids earlier. These ones are still good, but I have two of these honest ones I'll have to actually throw away. And a random ginger ale. Um, so yeah, just some random drinks down there. And then here is the freezer. So I have just some veggies. This is um, lemon juice, so I bought a thing of lemon juice and then I froze them into little shapes. These are, I actually have a pumpkin mold, little pumpkin mold that I use, it's a jello mold. And I use that to shape, um, measure out one tablespoon of lemon juice. So if I need it for a recipe, I just come in here and grab that. Um, and then I have just some frozen fruit for if I'm feeling like having a smoothie. And then I have um, my pancakes. So I just have one pancake left. So I stuck it in here with the Uncrustables and I'm gonna make more pancakes this weekend. Probably today, maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure. I have a couple chocolate chip cookies in here, frozen. And these are just some other sweet treats. Uh, some Bomb Pops, Yasso Enlightened Bars, and a couple Snickers ice cream bars. I usually have something out of here for dessert in the evenings. And then here I just have some frozen food. So these are fish, fries, chicken patties, and chicken nuggets that I homemade and then there's some shrimp back there too. Down here all of this stuff is stuff that needs to be thrown away but my garbage day isn't until Wednesday and today's Saturday so I don't want to let it thaw out and sit there so I will take it out or my garbage day is Thursday morning really early so Wednesday night I'll take it all out and put it out for the garbage and then in this drawer down here is popsicles for the kids. I only have one pack left so I'm going to get more at the store. Um, and then I don't have anything on the shelves except for some ice packs right there. All right, so there is the initial clean out and I'm going to go do a couple things, but the next thing you see is gonna be my grocery haul. So I'll be back. Hey friends, I'm back from the store. So let's go through my little grocery haul here. So the first stuff I'm gonna show you, I got at Aldi. So first I got some non-fat Greek yogurt, vanilla, um, I got these chicken sausage. It's a tomato and basil blend, so I feel like that'll be kind of cool to try for dinners this week. Um, I got some more eggs. I got some stevia sweetener. I got a big bag of it because um, I feel like I use it a good bit. So I've always just bought like little containers of it, but I decided to go for a big one. I got, oh, that was at Walmart. And then the other thing I got at um, Aldi was two boxes of brownie mix. I need to make some for a church thing next week. And I just bought two, figured it's always good to have some around. All right, so that was everything I got at Aldi, and then everything else was from Walmart. So I got these um, brat buns. So these are for, I have some steak in the fridge. I think I showed you when I cleaned out my fridge, but I'm going to cut it up and kind of do some steak sandwiches, and I'm gonna saute some onions and put on some cheese and do some steak subs for dinners this week. Um, and then I got some hamburger buns just to have, um, I have some chicken patties in the freezer and I've been loving having like a hamburger bun and chicken patty sandwich. I got some turkey sausage to have with breakfast in the morning instead of bacon just to change it up a little bit. And then I got this, um, sugar-free cheesecake jello pudding mix and I'm gonna do a little cheesecake with this pie crust. I was gonna get individual pie crusts but they were out so I just got a big one and I'm gonna do the Greek yogurt. There's a WW recipe, um, Felicia a long time ago had a video, it's called Pound Dropper Cheesecake and I'm gonna make a version of that um, for desserts this week I think. Um, and then I got some triple zero yogurt to eat in the mornings i'm almost i don't have enough of my other yogurt to last me so i got some of this i got some popsicles for the daycare kiddos i got the mini ones it's just easier to get smaller ones because then they eat them quicker and they don't melt all over their hands it's less messy i got some sun chips to have with lunches i'm almost out of my doritos i got some of this chicken dipping sauce it's kind of like chick-fil-a sauce um and i know it's walden farms i'm sorry if it's not focusing um i have my i was making my own but this stuff is zero calories you guys and mine was like 80 some calories for 
I would use enough to like eat chicken nuggets or something. And it was like 80 some calories. So it'll be nice to have like a zero calorie option for my Chick-fil-A sauce. Um, I got some of these rich cheddar crackers. This is my go-to evening snack lately. Uh, I'm not sure why, I just really, really love them. Uh, I got some quick oats. I wanna try to make some homemade granola bars once I run out of the cereal bars I have in the cupboard. So I got some quick oats. So that was all the food. And then I got some other stuff here. I got some more collagen. Um, I got some deodorant. I'm gonna try some of this deodorant. The deodorants I've been buying just have not been cutting it. So I'm gonna try this Old Spice stuff and see how that works. Um, I got some body wash. I wanted to try something different. So I got this. Um, I got some more hand soap for the soap here in the kitchen um, and in the bathroom that the kids use. I had to get a door lock. The door lock on my basement door broke. This little piece broke off, um, so I got a new lock to put on there so the kiddos don't go down there. They never even try to go near that door, but I just like to keep it locked just in case. I got a new pop socket for my phone and some printer paper. So yeah, that was my grocery haul. I'm going to put it all away, and then I'll show you um, the fridge and the cupboards again so you can see what it looks like. I'll be right back. Okay, put everything away. Just in here was chips and some crackers. I didn't put them away very neatly, but I don't care. Put the brownies and oats up there. Um, there's that. I'm gonna leave this stuff out because I'm gonna make this dessert probably tomorrow. And then the freezer probably doesn't look much different. Um, I just added the popsicles down there. And then the fridge. I put my new eggs under here. Added the yogurt to that container and put some of the meats down there. Sorry, I'm sure the um, cupboards and fridge, they don't really look all that different, but I thought I'd show you anyways. But that is gonna wrap up this video. I just um, wanted to do, I haven't done just a grocery haul video in a really long time, and my cupboards need cleaned out, and filming gave me some motivation to get that done. Um, so thanks for sticking around and watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, press that subscribe button. All of those things really do help out my channel, and they're all so much appreciated. Um, if you want to see other content from me, come find me over on TikTok and Instagram, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.